Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Last episode, we ended the episode starting bees, and uh, I have not done much in between episodes, but I have crafted up a ZPM World Accelerator. Um, we tested out the... EV1 that we had already crafted up many, many, many episodes ago. Uh, but I just went ahead and got this one. I mean, at this point, the stuff is easy to craft up. Uh, so did that. There's also a machine controller and a lever because this thing pulls six amps when it's running. And uh, there's no point to have it running continuously because that's going to pull six amps down there. And then, you know, with everything else. Uh, especially if like those are running and stuff pulling a lot of power i want to have issues but uh yeah so i did that and i have also crafted up some impregnated frames i'm going to use those up and then we're gonna use working frames uh if needed for the byproducts uh, the main reason i did this is because i wanted honey drops because i have gone ahead crafted up a couple more things here uh, to help out with our bees. I remember seeing this before. I've never actually... Oh, I've never actually used those. Yeah, if there's something gives like regen or something like that. Yeah, using the regen. It says right there. Um, put it in a bee collector jar and you will get the effect. Will I remember to do that? Absolutely not. But... Uh, that is a thing. So, basically, uh, if you don't know forestry bees, the majority of like the advanced stuff is going to be locked behind the industrial, industrious, industrious, I think it is. Yes, the industrious bee and the imperial bee. Uh, they're byproducts. So, the imperial bee. Is going to give royal jelly the industrious gives pollen see that the produce uh pollen cluster and most of this stuff is locked in uh the the alvary stuff so the scented paneling needs royal jelly pollen cluster and this is used to make the alvary and uh when we finally get that so I'm going to have to do some basic, very basic, uh, uh, very basic bee stuff uh, that unlocks the industrial apiary. So instead of using this one, it unlocks like the Greg Tech version. And I believe there is uh, built in pro production and all sorts of stuff. So this is the Gendistry apiary, basically. Um, this is the Greg Tech version of that. And uh, so that is kind of what I am working for. Now, I do want to. I've always wanted to do like a wall with all the different drones. I mean, OK, I don't think I'm going to get all of them. <laughs> uh, every single one, I doubt it. Plus, there are some actual real life. Uh, they only spawn like certain times of the actual year. Um, I think there's like a, is there like a festival one or something like that, uh, that only spawns like around Christmas. Uh, but I would like to at least get a little bit organized with these, um, instead of just throwing them like all in a chest. So I may actually just kind of throw them in a drawer so I can kind of see what they are and then I can stack the the drones but before i do that i want to get like a common princess and there's really probably no reason for me to actually continue or keep a common princess um, but i do want the drones in case we ever need a, a common drone again i don't have to breed, breed it up again but uh all right so if you open up the bealizer put some honey drops in there and put your bee in there Gives you a whole bunch of information about your bee. Uh, the main trait is the common, which is what we want. But the inactive is a forest. So if I breed it with a forest drone, there is a chance 
that it will uh, it'll turn into a force drone as the active one, and we do not want that. So basically, what I'm trying here is that's a common in meadows and a common in forest. So I'm actually going to mix it with this common and this common meadows, and I hope when it comes out, it's going to be a common common is kind of what I am working towards. All right, so that common's in there. This is going to give us honeycombs, which we need. And the frames boost that uh, times two. Now let's go ahead and do that and watch this be get absolutely right. <laughs> All right. So I didn't do anything there. And I actually, that's funny. What happened was the common princess actually mixed with the forest or the meadows hybrid that I fed it and turned it into the next tier up. So yeah, that's kind of funny how that happened. All right, so now we're gonna start getting drones. Lots and lots of drones. There's a cultivated bee, let's do this. Uh, fertility is just two. So it takes one and gives two drones. So you're always gonna like, increase if it's a one-to-one -one, then you only get one drone and you use one drone up now cultivated is good for the fast traits um, i'm not really going to get into i don't think we're going to get into st uh, stats right now because i can't really until i can get into like gendistry there's no point in Well, I'm just trying to think what I want to do with the cultivated because uh, we mix the cultivated with a common. We have a chance of getting diligent, which I guess I guess I can try. We're not even putting it in like the mutagen frames. I'm really just trying to get a a solid drone here with preferably good stats. All right, so we'll take that, that. I have honeycombs. Ooh, we did not get honey from that. All right, uh, cultivated does give, I think it gives better, or is that industrious? I can't remember. Some of the stats, they give better drops. Now, I should have that. I thought that was, uh, it sh should be working. There might be stuff from the, yeah, the black granite. Uh, because we're getting so much from the farm, it's kind of fighting that. Crazy. So it's probably going through the end dust. And when it does that, it'll go through the black granite dust in a second, and then we get the honeycomb. This definitely isn't ideal. Uh, when I need the honey. You know what? While I'm doing this, we have a drawer for the... Oh, it did the... I have a drawer for it. I should just let it go in. I think it was... Oops. I think it was locked behind the end stone. What it was doing. which is helium. Um, but this is definitely not ideal when I'm trying to get honey. But honey is a decent... Are we not getting honey? Hold on. I'm like, how did we just do 10 of those with a 90% chance when we didn't get a single one? Something... Oh, that needs to be turned off. <laughs> is something getting messed up here? Ah, all right. Yeah, because that doesn't count on the the thing. The beeswax will probably not show up either. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's because I don't have enough in there. That first 64, it doesn't count. But uh, 
Yeah. All right. So this cultivated actually has the fast trait. We want the fast trait. Um, so let's look at these. Okay, that doesn't have fast either. Ooh, none of them have fast. Is there a... This does have three. Ideally, I would want... Here, we'll mix it. We'll do these two. Ideally, I want a... Times four. I think we get that from, what, Imperial? I'm still not getting a, like, here. All right, so we got a cultivated cultivated, which is perfect. That means it's not going to turn into any other type. Unless I mix it with a another one. Depends which one I want to do. Probably that one. I really don't want to lose this fast trait, but I have a feeling you will. I could always try again in the future. Does crack me up how fast this is going. All right, but this is pretty much e breeding. All right, it does look like I lost the lower or the ah, there's the fast. All right, so we got a cultivated cultivated that has cultivated as the active, or that is fast as the active. I'm gonna actually try. To try that. Now we're getting a decent amount of honey. Got fastest or fast again. That has fast. That has fast. This has three though. So so far I want those two. That doesn't have fast at all. I'm out of honey. But, uh, all right, so I'm going to continue working on these. I just got to figure out, like, what I want to do with, well, like, what bees do I want to keep? Meadows, forest, we can get, like, a million of those. It's, but it's the other ones that I probably want to. I don't need to keep them. I don't know. Let me think about what I want to do. Probably save, like, drone, be like, all right, so there is our cultivated, there's a forest, and there's like a meadows. And then we'll do the diligent, and then industrious. That's like that little line, the industrious line. And the next one will be like the imperial line. Okay, we are back. I'm up to, I think, 15 generations here. But uh, I've almost gotten the... It's, it actually hasn't taken that long, but uh, I got one fast. Unfortunately, I lost the the three. But uh, I'm not... I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on it. We do have like one three here. But I have a fast fast and uh, a fast there. So I keep hoping that it's going to... I keep hoping we're going to get a, <laughs> a fast, fast queen. All right, so when they start doubling up, that is actually a good thing, usually, because it means that the stats are starting to kind of stabilize. So we got two fast, fast, which kind of tells me this might be fast, fast as well. Yeah, all right. So it looks like these are exactly the same. Uh, both sides, active and inactive, are the same. I think. Could be wrong. <laughs> uh, just glancing at it really quick, I'm like, I think those are the same, but... Um, but after a while, we'll start getting... Yeah. And this will stack with that. Okay, that one... Let me turn that off. Uh, it might actually stack with it, but it's not. Oh, oh, not quite. But uh, basically, I will just keep doing this until we get the same thing every time. 
And then this will be my cultivated drone with fast. This fast is a... Uh, here, I'm actually going to do this. I'm not going to do e. I'm not going to look at them. Because I'm pretty sure these will all continue to stack. Yeah. All right. So we kind of like got it where the stats are set. All right. Cool. Um, with that. Oops. I don't want to put drones in there. All right. So like this, I will, I'll save these drones. I probably want to do, I don't know, like 10. Uh, if you have 10 and you get a new queen and you put like 10 drones in there and you just keep sending it through, uh, eventually the queen will turn into your drone. I find about 10 is a good number if you want to, if you want to, uh, get this queen again. All right, so we'll probably, we'll finish with that, I think. All right, and world accelerators, I love you. They make this so much easier. All right, so there is that. We don't need this kind of crazy one in here. I'm not gonna spend too much time with genetics yet. Uh, there's really no point. Um, but if I ever want a, like I said, if I ever want another cultivated one, I have 10 drones in there. We can easily get it. And after 10 generations, this thing should be fully set to the drone thing. Uh, but with that, since Pristine never... You'll never lose Pristine. Uh, you can use the Pristine to go up the chain. So I want the one that comes... So like Cultivated, we mix with Common, we can get Diligent. If we mix the Cultivated with Diligent, we get the Unweary. And there is the industrious. So I want to mix that with common. Unfortunately, when I was breeding, we lost the common. We skipped a common and I didn't uh, didn't get a chance to keep it. So I'm going to have to breed that again. Which actually, I have a meadows here. So it feels kind of bad that we're having to go back and get common again. But we kind of skipped it unintentionally um and that is like that seriously is like super quick unfortunately that didn't do it for us it's kind of hoping we'd get common there all right we do have inactive on a common so if one of these has common all right so that one has common both of these have inactive common hopefully I'm like, do we really? I feel like... Ah, uh, actually, these aren't expensive. Uh, I will show you the other ones in a second. Are actually pretty expensive. Alright, so there is our common. The problem is we got a forest in the meadows. So if I put it back in... We might... Uh... Nice. We have enough honey now that... Alright, so that one doesn't, that one doesn't. Ooh, alright. So again, this might, we might get it cultivated at the end of this again. I just want common. Okay, anyway, so that is kind of what I am doing. I'm going to get the industrious and here. Alright, we got a common. Sometimes you don't have to really look at them. It's just like, if you have a common drone, just throw it back in. All right, we got it cultivated. I'm just going to keep doing this, see if we can get our common. Okay, we are back, and uh, I've gone ahead and got the industrious drone here. Uh, pretty quick with a world exciter, not to be, uh, to be honest. Uh, the... Because this only takes a few seconds to go through a whole thing. So I actually got that pretty quick. And kind of what I've done, I think what we're going to do is probably, like, this is one kind of grouping. The cultivated, common, diligent, unweary. So I'm going to save a bunch of drones. I'm just kind of doing 10 is kind of my goal. But I've started getting more. As you can see, I've actually added conduits. 
uh, because if I want, it will uh, pull the drones out, put them back in, and keep it going. So it uh, makes it much, much easier to get a bunch of drones. So I've gone ahead and got the industrious. I'm now going to start working on the noble branch. We can see. So that is like the one line. And then this one is another one. So this is common and cultivated, and that gets you that. I have gotten a noble drone when I was trying to work on that because diligent and noble have the same. Uh, they have the same requirements. Uh, but I haven't gotten a noble princess yet. I tried to breed the noble with a meadows princess a pristine meadows princess and i didn't get it you can see they're meadows noble hybrids but i didn't get that i should have waited to get a a uh hold on one second let me just double check okay that's right yeah i was like i couldn't remember if i had enough um i want to get this i should have waited till i got it to like a noble princess and then used my noble drone to purify it is what i should have done but as we can see uh relatively easy now i do have a common so now we have that let me just double check since we need oh look we got noble on here still um so that's when i should have like i should have waited to do that to Breed it with a active noble drone. Um, I guess we can do. Actually, I should have done. I should have turned this into like, because I don't have a common drone either. I had a bunch of cultivated. All right. I mean, we only need one drone. I don't really need 10. Uh, the problem is if I want to create more common drones, I need to make sure I have enough to get a pure, like a pure common princess, if that is something I want to do. But hopefully, like there is the common princess, but uh, we'll just keep breeding it, and hopefully one of these will get it into a... Yeah, we're getting diligent. Oh, I guess I should do... Duh. I totally forgot to throw my mutagenic frame in. That should help. Alright, so there is a noble princess. As we saw. Wasn't too bad. Probably not a thing. Also, I need to get rid of some of these. So, I'm just going to get rid of these. We don't really need all of these I'll maybe hold on to those because they have a noble trait on them all right this is noble and diligent so I don't want to mix it with diligent because I would have a chance of changing this um, I may just try something that it won't like turn into so if you do noble drone you mix it with marshy, diligent, gets ancient, majestic, which we don't have yet, and cultivated. So I don't really want to do that. I want to be able to get noble drones. Uh, for example, if I want a Myri princess, I'm going to need noble drones. So I don't want to skip having noble drones. Um, so I don't want to mix it with that. I may just do an... Maybe I'll do it with this. This has a active... Or a inactive noble trait. Hopefully I'll get an extra noble drone. No! That is not what I wanted. And we got diligent. No. Alright. So as we can see, it can be a bit frustrated at times. It does have the inactive noble. We don't want to use that one. But the chances of me getting a noble out of a... That. I don't know. I guess we'll try that. Sometimes it uses up, but it doesn't. I don't know if it actually is working, even though it used up the thing. Okay, we got a noble drone, which is actually kind of surprising, to be honest. 
Ah, that's a Meadows Meadows and a Noble Noble. All right, so I'm going to hold on to that, and then I'm going to keep trying this uh, until we get Imperial. So this is kind of what I'm doing, just trying to get the Imperial here. Okay, here we go. Uh, got the Imperial Drone, uh, Imperial Princess with our Pristine. I think we're up to 38 or 39 things now. I am... Just bringing this out. Now, unfortunately, while I was trying to get a purebred, I lost some of the good traits. I lost the regeneration effect. Uh, beautific, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, and uh, I also lost the times four fertility from... These majestic drones actually have times four uh, fertility. I'm not going to doing because I don't want to they won't stack if I do that uh, so yeah unfortunately we lost some good traits but I do have the Imperial and the industrial uh, things now so as we can see we are getting royal jelly now I have the pollen as well we are getting I also, I don't, there is also um, icy pollen or something. Oh, I'm never going to be able to find it. Might be this one. No, there was a, I got it from, is it windy? No, icy, wintry. We got, yeah, our wintry princess, frozen comb. Oh, I haven't processed it. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, but this gets... Crystalline Pollen Cluster, and this can actually be used in the Hunted Paneling, and that is just like, you get this from Overworld, just hives in the Overworld. So I'm like, does that being ore dictionary with that, like, let you skip the Industrial line? You just, you do need the Imperial. I mean, you're, they're kind of similar. There's not much, but I was just like, oh, that's kind of a weird, I don't know if that's intended, that, uh, Something you can get from a very basic... This is just a basic bee. I mean, admittedly, you have to... It has to be in a specific biome. But I uh, just thought that was funny. Um, so I'm just doing this. Now, I have put a few things. Honeydew, propolis, beeswax, honey up there. Um, because these are... We're doing resources from bees. We are. This is going to be infinitely going in the A system. So I'm eventually going to have to do this anyway. So uh, I figure let's get this going now, and then I don't have to do weird shenanigans with exporting into the subnet and all that stuff. All right, cool. So there is that. Now this is just running, and uh, we'll turn that off. I do want to just set this. I'll probably just throw this out because, well, I'll probably just use it. It's the same of these, but unfortunately it just doesn't, it doesn't stack, which is annoying. Uh, since these are, I didn't identify those yet. But uh, Okay, so with this stuff, it, I can start getting recipes and I think we can get the industrial apiary. And this is, like, we ended up getting this, like, super quick. Uh, quite annoying kind of recipes here, but... Uh, uh, oh, Silky. We need Silky for some of these. Oh, no, we don't. Do we? No, yes, we do. Dang it. Um. Okay, so gonna do... If we remember, I did the World Accelerator, the EV. I'm going to throw this in the overworld with the battery buffer we crafted up. So that, and then I'm going to use this to get tropical. Oh my goodness. I'm going to use this to get our tropical ease going. I guess I can put those away, right? Yeah. And then... 
this. So tropical and this. Now these need special... This needs a special biome. If I put this in here, it's not actually going to work. Actually, I don't need both of that in there. Leave that in there. Too dry and too cold. So I am just going to go put this in the overworld. I guess I can even do this. And uh, we will get our conduits and I will just let this run. Um, is that what I want to do? It's going to be a bit of a pain. I don't think they take way out of conduits. They don't take too much power. But, uh, it's going to be annoying having to like run back and forth with the batteries. Okay, we are back and, uh, we got... I have my Imperial drones just running because I needed honey and royal jelly. And uh, I just set up very basic, just three drawers. They're filtered, uh, obviously, because they're locked. So the overflow drones will go in there. And then I got my combs and my honey. You can see almost 20 stacks. And I think I put about 10 stacks in the A system to get all the honey we need because I have been spending quite a bit of time making recipes for all the Alvary stuff. Uh, so all the different parts, the paneling, the sticks and all that stuff. Uh, I did run into an issue with the Alvary lighting one. This one, uh, this recipe is wrong. Uh, it needs four glass, not just the one. Also, it needs to be stained glass. Regular glass does not work. So kind of like here where it's four glass, it, you actually need four glass in there. So just keep that in mind if you uh, can't get that recipe to work. So I went ahead and also set up the tropical. And uh, I put the... I ended up crafting up 16 of those batteries in a 16 block or a 16 battery buffer. We can see they're all empty. Uh, not really thinking that this accelerator, yeah, it speeds it up a little bit, but it's not like super great. Um, but I did throw these working frames in here. Unfortunately, as we can see, uh, it is nighttime. Uh, so I have not gotten too much out of this. I do have a anchor here. Um, but this is going pretty dang slow, unfortunately, uh, because I haven't been keeping it daytime and they don't have that trait. But uh, I am trying to get, I need 36 propolis or silky, whatever it is, silky propolis. No, I need silky wisp, which is a byproduct of the silky propolis. Uh, so this is a 60% chance. So unfortunately, it's a percent chance of a percent chance. Uh, so I have 35 here. I think I need like 36. So not great chances. So I'm going to have to l get the... I need to get these uh, things working. Uh, I do have the best frames in there. But uh, I probably just need to sit in the overworld and... Well, we got 25, actually, out of that. I need 36 total. And then I will be able to craft up the Alvary Sieve. So I need four woven silk, um, which is nine each. I do have a recipe for that. It should work. I think it's this one, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to put the recipe. There we go. And there is that. And I also forgot. Oh no. Sort of conduits. Uh, I forgot to put conduits piping it out into the thing. But uh, yeah, that is where we're at with that. And then with that, that is everything we need for this. Okay, that 
didn't take too much time. Basically left the world running while I went to go eat dinner. Came back and we have enough, I believe. Yeah, so we got our four. Now we should be able to get our Alvary sieve, which uh, I think we're good here. Um, that might not. I think I need. I just realized I think I messed up that recipe. There it is. Uh, I don't think that's not going to work. It needs to be this type of pollen. There we go. And if I do this, it should say we don't have one. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put that in there. And then there we go. So over by my bees, I've thrown up two trees right next to each other uh, in case we want to do the forestry breeding kind of stuff and the tree breeding and we might need leaves or something like that for a bee uh, but if you want the pollen you can actually craft up this pollen connection kit from Gendustry. they're not like super cheap but uh yeah uh, and I think if you have bees running nearby, if you click on that, I will get the apple oak pollen. I'm assuming if we get it from here, it'll be like a different one. Um, but that is a way to get the pollen before we actually have a an alvary built. We're not probably not going to build an alvary, uh, but you need this pollen for it. And the Alvary seed will actually get you more pollen uh, from the bees that are in the thing. But uh, we just see. I might need to switch a number. No. Nope. All right. Why aren't we working? I had some issues before as well. Oh. Nope. Not in there. I'm just doing the carpenter. It's in this one. I just don't think I have the. Yeah, I don't have the. Forgot to do that. All right, there we go. There is that. And that will be the last bit for our industrial apiary. We're obviously going to have to craft up these. Again, I'm sure. So that's why I wanted to do recipes for absolutely everything. And I think it is. Yep. There we go. Right there. And there we go. Industrial apiary. Uh, there might be a quest somewhere around. Yeah. I don't have all the stuff for it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think we're going to be building it. I don't think we need to. With this industrial apiary that we have now and then the the actual multi-block for i don't remember which one it, what industrial there it is that one i couldn't remember what it looks like yeah so this is the industrial apiary and it's absolutely huge so all right, uh, but here is the industrial apiary. I haven't looked at the interface at all. This is a UV machine. I don't know how much power it's actually going to use. I'm like, can I hook it up to ZPM power? I have no idea, but we'll, we'll have to kind of explore that. I guess next episode. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't use a full amp. And we might be able to hook it up to that, but uh, we will we'll see. Um, but yeah, so bees, frames, and there is the output. That is pretty cool. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.